Afternoon guys and welcome to another video for Advanced In Car. So today we are working on this 2021 T6.1. It's coming to us as a relatively basic spec. Um, so we haven't got color coded bumpers, we've got manual mirrors, and we haven't got things like fog light parking sensors. The vehicle is coming from factory with rear parking sensors, so they will be optical, but we are upgrading to the genuine VW T6.1 front optical parking sensors with the new button on the dashboard. We're also uh, upgrading these manual mirrors, like so, to the genuine VW electric folding mirrors, which will involve two new uh, folding mirrors, replacing or utilizing the glass and the top caps. The boys will then wire and change the wiring in from this existing window switch, which will be a standard 10 pin to then six pin. Um, so we're downgrading rather than upgrading, but it's because now the new mirrors will use LIN data uh, instead of analog controls. We'll then code it to give um, folding off the key and also folding off the switch. At the same time, the bumper is coming off and we are fitting the genuine BW T6.1 fog lights. Now, most of the bumpers we've seen um, so far, we always seem to get caught out with the odd one here and there, just down to where it comes in spec-wise. But the bumper comes off. The panels behind here get then cut out with a Dremel. We fit the genuine fog light holders right and left and the wiring, uh, code it and wire it all into the BCM to give you then fog lights off your switch, uh, which we also have to replace and then also probably the cornering feature which we code. And we haven't seen a T6.1 that doesn't do cornering yet, um, but we do code for it anyway. So that's front factory fog lights, front factory uh, T6.1 OPS with a new push button panel. We're also doing the electric folding mirrors and this vehicle as well, I'll get Sammy to take some photos, has just come with a blank on the dashboard for no cigarette lighter or accessory power. And then that will allow us to fit an accessory circuit um, into the ignition or battery, depending on what the customer wants, so that he can plug in uh, a device, I don't know, sat nav or a phone charger or something similar. So check back later on and uh, we'll show you all working.
Uh, welcome back guys. So we're done. Richard and Owen have been working hard on this T6.1 and customers sat in the customer lounge ready to be handed over. And this has had a bit of a facelift. Front fog lights all done. Um, they're the halogen style uh, fog lights. So that's what it would have come from with fact from factory. Um, also, you've got the cornering feature so that when the engine is running and turning left or right, the corresponding fog light will come on. We've also done front optical parking sensors. Now, because this fan is quite entry level, that means that Richard's actually cut the holes out of the front bumper panels for the sensors to then be glued on. Wiring loom gets run across the bumper and then back into the vehicle. Um, we replace the existing parking module for an eight channel one, which is front and rear. Wire in the new push button panel, which is for manual operation, and then code it so that it comes up on the existing radio display. Um, add to that also some new uh, folding mirrors. Uh, this top cap's been replaced because we found once we taken it apart that it was already suffered some damage so the customer was happy just to simply replace that and now we've got two new folding mirrors and you can just turn on oh no, it would help if I had the ignition on no I don't need the ignition on let's just put the ignition on anyway when you put the ignition on after um, uh, a fold after you've locked it with the key then your mirrors will simply unfold like so as with all of the T6.1s, if you get out and shut the door and press the lock button, the mirrors will fold and will stay folded as a comfort feature. So you can then get into your vehicle, open and shut the door, and then as soon as you put the key in the ignition, they will get the signal then to um, unfold. As part of the installation and wiring, two new door modules get fitted. That's also the window regulator motor and some wiring changes made to um, cater for that. We've also got a new switch in the door card and that allows for manual folding as well. So if you're driving um, slower than 10 miles an hour, then your mirrors will fold. So if you are traveling down uh, a narrow road and something bigger coming towards you, you want to fold them in for peace of mind, um, then you can do. But if you're going above 10 miles an hour, it, it just won't fold, it's a, it's a safety feature. So that you don't do it at 70 miles an hour on the motorway and then cause a massive accident. <laughs> so that's it, genuine T6.1 folding mirrors with comfort feature off the key. Uh, factory halogen fog lights fitted and also the front T6.1 OPS. And we've also done uh, a cigarette lighter outlet or a power outlet on top of the dashboard in the factory location. So realistically, I would say that this has made this van um, a lot nicer. It's quite entry level, um, but it's going to give the customer um, a new sort of driving experience, especially with the front parking sensors, the fog lights and the folding mirrors. If you've got a vehicle like this and you want to spruce it up, uh, then please do get in touch with us. It's not, a, it's not a package that we sell, it's just the three items were put together and we've had the vehicle for a day and a half to be able to do all that. Uh, in terms of all the parts, two years warranty, all genuine Volkswagen parts, seamless integration. There's no buttons on the dashboard that shouldn't be there or wouldn't have been there from factory. Um, so please do get in touch with us. Don't forget to follow us on social media and thank you for watching.